In this tutorial, we're going to make these cool, colorful graphics. We're going to use the Shape tool, we're going to use Layer Styles, and we're going to use the Twirl Filter. So let's get started. Okay, we have a 12 by 12 inch document open. The twirl filter works from the center out. So we need to find the exact center of this document. We can do that by using some guides. Come up under view, new guide, and horizontal. And since we have a 12 inch document, we'll just put in six inches right here. Click OK. Let's do the same thing for vertical, view, new guide, vertical, and six inches, click OK. Now we have our exact center right there. Now we're going to use the star tool. This is the star tool. You might have one of these other shapes in there. They're all in the same set. I'm using 30 sides and 50% indent. You can experiment with those settings too. See what you can come up with. I'm going to start right with the center and drag out to make our starburst. Okay, I want to put a style in that. So over here in our styles panel, I'm going to choose this top one. And that creates a nice colorful starburst. Now if we come up under filter, distort, twirl, it tells us that we need to simplify the shape. It needs to rasterize. Click cancel. This right now is a vector shape. It's a smart object. You can tell that by this little icon down here in the corner of the thumbnail. That means that this is created using mathematical equations so you can enlarge it and shrink it enlarge it and shrink it as much as you want and it's not going to lose any quality once we rasterize this or simplify the layer we'll turn this into a pixel based image and then if we resize it we'll start to lose quality so let's go ahead and simplify this hold down the control and click on this layer if you're on a mac or just right click on the layer if you're on a PC and you get this drop down menu, just click on simplify layer. And now that's a pixel based layer. It's simplified. Let's come up under filter, distort, twirl. I'm going to use 300. Click OK. I like that. Now you can see how the twirl worked from the center out. If we build something out here on the edge, let's turn the visibility of this off. Let's actually put one out here on the edge. We've got our star, we've got our same settings. Let's just draw a small starburst out here. Let's simplify that layer. Control click or right click on the layer. Select simplify layer. Let's go up under filter, distort, and twirl. We'll just leave the same setting, 300, click OK. You can see how that, it actually twirled from the center, I think that looks pretty cool. Let's try one more. Let's try one way up here in the corner. Let's see what it does. Slide it down here so we're inside our document. Let's simplify that one. Control click or right click and simplify the layer. Let's go up under filter, distort, twirl. That didn't really work as well. It seems like the farther away you are from the center, the less of the distortion that you'll get. So that didn't really work. I don't really like that one, but I like this one. Let's throw this layer away. Let's rotate this and slide it up here in the corner. I like that one. Click the check mark. Let's turn the visibility of both our layers on. I think if we put these on a dark background, it will really make those colors pop. So let's select the background layer, hit shift delete, or shift backspace, and it'll bring up this fill layer dialog box. Let's pick black and click OK. Oh yeah, I really like that. I'm going to put these graphics up on the website and you can download them if you don't want to build them from scratch. In fact, I'm going to put all of the graphics that I've been building uh, through the tutorials up on the website so that you can download them if you want. 
That's our tutorial for today. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell. You'll get a notification every time I put a new tutorial up. Thanks for joining me in this one, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.